So, we're about to leave fire, fire station number 32 and actually go to the Insta Heat factory to learn more about that part that we found. We now know how the killer set up his explosions. So Can you drive to this one? You need to confirm wow. now. Where are we headed? I think our partner's starting to warm up to us, sure. in my opinion. The next fire. We should go to the factory. See how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character. Guy's a freak. He loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Through the golden doors. Golden green, that is. <laughs> Talk to the hot secretary. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. The doorway is through here. Listen carefully. Are you drunk, mister? We're on the radio. They're talking about us and how we cheated on our wife. <laughs> Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. Oh? It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Insel Heat Model 170, or just 70, sorry. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. Doubt. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Heater service history. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. Lie. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. You can either go Ryan or Varley. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go with Varley this time. What about Reginald Varley? You know about Varley. He's on the run for a divorce interstate. It's not so bad. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R and I. Cross reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. What the hell's this guy doing? Phelps must have photographic memory because he's gonna forget the paper and know exactly who to name off. What is America gonna realize? About Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? One nice thing about eager pests. I need to know Let's if any of the following people. names have a previous criminal history. 
Okay, detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Barley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew, charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. She does not sound young at all. <laughs> she sounds like an old bat. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Now we gotta talk to this guy again. Des Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show them and keep quiet. <laughs> Look at their smiles. Warrant. Oh, <laughs> Legal technicality back in the 40s. Here. Happy now. All right, start here. Left. We're going to go around, left to right. Mr. Rasick. I know $30 is a fortune. Clemens is a fellow traveler. We don't have to open it up, but I will just to show you guys. Put it down. Move over to the right. Open her up. Got a whole stash right here. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. And then the last one. Varley's. Hello. The company went through thousands of these in the war. Still got eaten alive. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I have to open it. My bad, guys. My bad. Open her up. Barley has a problem with bugs. There we go. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? We got work waiting. Sure, bro. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to do our interviews. Three birds. I'd so Let tap that. She looks very bar. familiar, though. Wait, I'm trying first. to picture... Trying to put my finger on it, but I can't get it right now. But they will look it up. That's him, that dirty cop. Alrighty, so after that, that was a flashback, I think. You drive. We're gonna go He's talk to case Clemens notes. first. Alright, where to? The voice acted for our partner is really good, actually. Biggs, LAPD. We want some answers, and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. Knowledge of Varley. You know Reginald Varley? No. 
Can't say I do. Doubt. Detroit PD is after Reginald Varley for murder. You want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Varley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads around if you can. Employment with InstaHeat. You're licensed and work for InstaHeat? I contract for them. So what? Doubt. InstaHeat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. <laughs> How is that the right thing? Uh... Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. Lie. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? Clemens Arse Anarchist Pamphlet. We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Now we're gonna go visit Ryan. You can drive. So where do you want to go? Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Didn't see that happening. <laughs> I'm gonna turn off the horn so it's not as loud. I can't talk to you guys. The damage is only cosmetic. Um, for this, it's a one -man wrecking ball. you best Move just in. stay on the I'll road the after he gets off here. Oh, see, that's why you want to stay on the road. It's better to do it this way. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. Come on. There you go. Even if... It's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him oh, coming. Jesus. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. We can get him right here. Don't go to sleep on me. Get it close. Get that tire, bro. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. Come on, hit it. Keep it nice. steady and I'll try to bust his tire. Huzzah! Oh, missed him. Jesus. Did I get him? Oh, I got him. Oh no, I did not get him. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Oh boy, here we go. And jam! There we go. Nice. Give it up! LAPD! Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared! You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. And time to visit the last guy. You're behind the wheel. Varley. Fine. Where are we headed? Varley's on the run. He might be packing heat. He's wanted for murder. I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. 
I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! Uh, <laughs> so for this one, you gotta chase them, just get a clean line of sight, and then you gotta fire a warning shot, so, yeah. Come on, Barley! Can't keep running forever! This is good right here, I think. Oh, shit! My bad! <laughs> Whoops! Try this again. <laughs> All right, warning shot. Come on, Marley. Gotta get Can't nice, clear path forever. right here. Get him! Come on, fill up the gauge. Fill up the gauge. Go, 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 go. There you go. Stop, or I will shoot. Surprised you don't get penalized for that, actually. I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Farley. Detroit police have an outstanding warrant. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest is arson. You can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer. I like how he's worried about the arson thing and not worried about the murder in Detroit. Well, whatever. You drive. Let's go to the police the case, station. Though. All right. Where to? Once again, you have the option of convicting either Varley or Ryan. Musical favorite. But brought to you by Bullseye Brand Cigarettes. Like I was saying before, I got rudely interrupted by that loading screen. Uh, you can convict either or, but if you want a five star mission, you have to convict Ryan. So, yeah, we're gonna go that route. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Varley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. Since we're gonna convict, uh. Far, uh, Ryan, we gotta start with Varley first. If I can find in your room, room two. There it is. We have Matthew Ryan in custody, Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Work at Sawyer Residence. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Lie. Why are you lying to me, Varley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name was on the water heater. <laughs> Heater service by Varley. Sorry, I almost selected Ryan there. That kind of did a big mistake. Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Derp. Suburban. Yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him though, because he still wouldn't sell. Suburban redevelopment. Where it is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> principles to suck cock. Well, lie. How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Walter Clemens statement. Clement says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. I'll testify in court. 
Suburban, they got real time pressure in getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. Instaheat Model 70. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? Lie. I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Huh? In your locker at work, we're gonna go with mosquito coils. Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Oh, hang on! Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. So, once again, we're not going to be charging this guy, so leave interrogation. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap, or you're staying here to answer for these arsons. <laughs> he was so worried about the arsonist rap and even denied the murder rap. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to interview room one. Break through the red light. Never Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. Earn anarchist literature. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. Lie. This is industrial sabotage, Brian. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Brian's anarchist pamphlets. Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. Insta-heat model 70. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. Lie. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Ivan Rasik statement. Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay, so I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. Suburban Redevelopment. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Doubt. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. Attempted murder charge for the last one. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. <laughs> and doubt. You were charged with attempted murder. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? 
Asbestos Water Heater Company. Kind of feel sorry for the guy, but once again, if you want the five stars, you have to charge him, so let's charge suspect. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer, Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. You hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Look at that face acting right there. It was sweet. Face acting? I don't know if that's something, but facial Shouts. expressions. What you did to your wife and kids is on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in our so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp on my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. Only Phelps would take something as ours and just end up with more dead bodies. But anyways, that is the very first mission of the arson cases, guys. Our first uh, mission after being demoted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, all I ask is that you just rate the video really quickly. It just helps me out a lot and helps the series out a lot. And I will see you guys next time for the mission called A Walk in the Elysian Fields. Alright, have a fantastic day.